All right, this is going to be an unboxing of the Poseidon, uh, Starlight 12 Poseidon. I haven't even opened the box yet, as you can see. Um, I do have my Phantom, oh, not, the, I have my Phantom here for comparison. Um, and here we go. So, as you can see, here's the box. Completely unsealed and everything, as you can see. I'm sorry if the lighting is really bad. I don't have shit for natural lighting, really. Okay, so here we go. If it has any QC issues, we will find out. So in the box, you have the mouse. Already, no rattles. We're just gonna start with the rattle test. No rattles. All right, um, so something happened to my recording, so I'm just going to talk about the mouse. Um, I didn't do anything. I just wanted to get it set up. I got the little pieces out and everything, and I just updated the firmware. Um, but I didn't really take a close inspection of the mouse. Um, as I was saying, no rattles. Which is a good thing because I've seen a lot of people with rattles on older, older, you know, final mice and uh, starlights and stuff like that. Um, and comparing the box to the Phantom, I don't think the box, I don't know, you can take your pick, but the Phantom box I think is so well done. Um, I don't think it compares really, but I mean, the box isn't bad, the box is solid. I do like the, the just solid text over it though. Um, but getting back to the mouse, so the blue is not, this is something I was really concerned about. The blue is not the blue of the Phantom. The blue is different. And it doesn't really show on camera. I'll be honest, the mouse looks ugly on camera. It kind of does in my opinion, but in person it looks a lot different. The blue is very nice. Um... And yeah, there are some differences in feel I can already tell. Uh, that might just because be because my hands have not like warmed up to the mouse yet. Like my Phantom feels considerably colder for some reason. I don't know why that is. Like I put my hand on the Phantom, it's actually cold. Um, I put my hand on the Poseidon, it's not cold. Um, and also I think there are a few differences in the coating. Um, I could be mistaken there. It might just be because it's new. But the coating does feel different. Um, and I'll save a little bit of that for the review. Obviously, Kale 8.0's 3370 sensor, everything's fine there. They did say that they fixed the off-center scroll wheels. Um, they did not. This could also be the clicker piece, though. I will have had this open and everything by the time I do a review. Um, but it doesn't look like the clicker pieces are off-centered. You would notice it down here by the DPI button. Sorry if the autofocus is going off, um, but the wheel is off center. But I will figure out if that's the clicker piece or just the wheel. Also, a difference. The wheel is blue. You can see that. I like it. I, I like it a lot. I like the blue wheel a ton compared to the white one. I think they should have done the blue on the Phantom or even just a straight black wheel. Um, I think on the Phantom, if they just did a rubber piece like the original Phantom, it would look so much better, so much better. Um, but getting back to the Poseidon, um, the build, I don't notice any issues here. There's no flexing, there's no creaking. Um, I, I will save obviously the feels and everything for the review, but I will say I had no clicking issues, like nothing smacking the shell, nothing like that. Um, nothing is rattling inside. Nothing seems loose. Wait. Okay, I do feel a few differences. Um, but I will save a lot of this for the review. Um, but obviously in the box, all you get is the extender and the cable, standard. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the TENS mouse coming out. I don't know if I'll get it, honestly. But I will do a sound test real quick. So right and left click, obviously KL8.0s. 